or project behind the news. Uh, uh, they uh, are working uh, now and uh, uh, the bans uh, Russian, different Russian myths about Ukraine, about this war and uh, other. And I think media literature is very important uh, during war, in war uh, and uh, because uh, uh, not only journalists, not only experts, uh, but everyone uh, need uh, uh, to know about uh, news, about uh, primary sources of news, and uh, it's very important. As for me, I know uh, some NGO uh, which deals uh, now with media literature for children and adults. Uh, and uh, maybe um, very important thing is uh, Ukrainian IT army that fights against Russia propaganda. This um, army is as a movement uh, different people such as scientists, computer scientists and hackers uh, from Ukraine and abroad. And they are met, uh, with mission to help Ukraine uh, win this war against Russia. And uh, they um, have uh, uh, launched a cyber uh, attack to state media in Russia and uh, uh, other sites uh, which run by Kremlin. It was not uh, hacking, uh, but uh, it was clone our uh, site media, uh, which, where I, I'm working. I, I have been working for so many years for UNIAN, Ukrainian Independent, Independent Agency of News, and uh, this summer I um, knew about some uh, articles. Uh, I did not wrote it, uh, write it, and uh, I was surprised that, uh, that uh, here was my name. This topic article was uh, very um, strange. Uh, they uh, not uh, uh, not uh, clear for Russian propaganda, but some message there was about uh, that narratives. For example, uh, Ukraine is um, uh, black uh, market of trade. Uh, uh, children or uh, corruption Ukrainian or other situation on the front line and I did not uh, write it and when uh, fact checkers uh, sent me link for these materials I was very shocked and surprised uh, because um, uh, this uh, site uh, had the same uh, colors, visuals, uh, as uh, a real side of uh, my media. And uh, I uh, asked to keep the police and the security, the security service of Ukraine, a national uh, uh, Ukraine uh, joint of uh, uh, journalist uh, and uh, these uh, pages are blocked, was, were blocked, uh, but uh, I know that uh, appear, appears new. And uh, I, I know now that uh, uh, information attack to, to me and other Ukrainian journalists, they, it was uh, a part of a big uh, company of disinformation by Russia propaganda and uh, it's called uh, Doppelganger. I think that country which uh, uh, are supporting Russia um, or uh, alliance of Russia, uh, they uh, are using the same methods uh, propaganda, uh, for example, Serbia. And uh, I know that uh, some of Serbian people um, uh, fight uh, against Ukraine now. 
and uh, I know some Ukrainian people who uh, is living in Serbia now and uh, they repeat uh, the same uh, message that share has uh, share Russia propaganda and uh, it's a very similar uh, situation and I think uh, the main target of um, propaganda in uh, Balkans, especially in the Western Balkans, is Kosovo. Uh, I, I need to say that um, uh, before coming here, I, I uh, did not know uh, true information about the war in Kosovo, about the independence of uh, this country, and I realize now that, that uh, everything I uh, uh, knew about this country. It was uh, uh, based on Russia propaganda messages, and uh, I think that uh, we need to fight uh, with a very foxy and strong enemy, as Russia and his uh, that uh, its uh, allies. Uh, and uh, I think uh, the critical uh, thinking and the media literacy is our po uh, power, super power in this fight.